Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today I want to talk about how I landed my undergraduate thesis at the Monash University, which is an amazing university in Melbourne, Australia. So I'm going to be doing my thesis at the Exertion Games Lab. Here is their website. It is a fantastic lab which explores the interaction of technology, play and the human body. You can take a look at the website. The link will be in the description. And if you go on to projects, you can see some of their awesome projects. Balance Ninja is one of my favorites. You can read about it here. Before we move on to how to land a thesis, let me mention what a thesis is. At my college, BITS, we have the option to spend our final year doing research at any lab or university in the world, which is what I'm going to be doing, and it's called a thesis. So I started the process in December, and it was April when I finally confirmed my thesis. It was a very exciting moment for me. In total, I sent somewhere around 100 emails, so it's a long and hard process. Coming to uh, the steps that you need, need to perform to land a good thesis. Number one, you need a good resume. As far as research positions are concerned, resumes need not be a single page. They could be longer as well. That's not a problem. Next, you also need a master email. What I mean by a master email is where you have all of your projects listed with a brief explanation of each. You can use this later to formulate emails that you send out. Along with your resume and master email, the last thing you need is a list of your research interests. For example, my research interests when I was looking for the thesis were game design, human computer interaction, and a few more. Once you have all three of the previous things, you are ready to start looking for professors and reaching out to them. The fastest way to find professors is to use good search queries. I found out a bit late that if you end up at the faculty directory and start opening each professor's page from there, that's a long and tedious process. Instead, what you want to do is you want to have better search queries. For example, after a while, I started searching for human computer interaction at Monash, and that gives you a list of uh, professors who are working in the field that leads to much faster results. You can send out emails either directly to professors or to PhD candidates or postdoctoral researchers. There are both advantages and dis disadvantages to each. Professors are usually busier and that reduces the likelihood of getting a response. But when you talk to PhD students, it might so happen that even though the PhD student is impressed with your work, the professor might reject your thesis for whatever reasons. Once you end up at a lab's page, make sure to go through their projects, see if they interest you, and also look at the people behind particular projects which you like. If it so happens that all of the projects that interest you have been done by a particular PhD student, you might want to reach out to that candidate so that your thesis is under him or her. Coming to reaching out to these PhD candidates or professors and sending out the emails, here is how my email went. In the first paragraph, I introduced myself as a student from BITS. In the second paragraph, I talked about the work at the lab or the professor's research and what interested me most from that. For this, you will have to research the professor's work or the work at the lab so that you're, you're able to pinpoint what things interest you. In the third paragraph, I picked things from my master email, which is my previous projects. It is important to emphasize on your previous projects, which align well with the professor's work. In the fourth and final paragraph, I talked about how I'm supposed to do a thesis and my eagerness to do it at that particular lab. As I mentioned earlier, I had to send out over 100 emails. They were spread out from December to April, and I started off sending very few emails per day. 
However, as time passed, I increased the number of emails that I sent out every day. Also, it's important for you to space out these emails so that it doesn't so happen that all of your interviews are around the same time. And another point to remember is that until you confirm a thesis, you don't stop sending out emails. So even if you're in the process of interviewing with one PhD candidate or professor, you need to keep sending out other emails until that particular thesis is confirmed. Remember that there are tons of super awesome places that you can do your thesis or internship at. The procedure after you send out an email is as follows. So in my case at Monash, I sent out the email to Professor Florian Floyd Mueller, who leads the ex exertion games lab. He redirected me to Rakesh Patibanda, a PhD candidate at the lab. Rakesh set up a call with me. The first call is usually an introductory call about my work, work at the lab and what the exact field that Rakesh was working in. Once this call was over, I was supposed to write two proposals about what I could work on at the lab. Once I sent him the proposals, we set up the second call. It was on this call that Rakesh told me that they liked my proposals and I could join in as a research assistant at the lab. And I felt truly amazing. Coming to my experience at the lab until now, although officially I start out in August, but I've already started attending activities at the lab as much as possible. And it has been a fantastic experience to say the least. Everyone at the lab is welcoming and very fun to work with. So as we do our work, we are also having a lot of fun. It is a huge thanks to everyone at the lab for making me feel so welcome. And of course, a huge, huge thanks to Rakesh and Floyd for giving me this opportunity to work with them. Another advantage of doing these thesis applications, other than of course, landing the thesis, is that I got to connect with a renowned person in the field of game design. And although he couldn't supervise my thesis, we set up a call where we talked about my previous work and what I could focus on in the future to build up my resume. So this network is very useful in the future and it's always great to have good connections. So that's it for this video. Once again, I am super, super excited to start my work at the lab in August. And I hope you learned something from this video. If you did like the video, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button as well. Until next time, bye-bye and all the best for your thesis search.